the 2018 NWCA multi divisional national duels. We are picking up action 184 pounds in Division Two. The St. Cloud State in command here over Nebraska Kearney. We're going to beat Isaac Deaton for Nebraska Kearney, unranked. His opponent also unranked Tyree Overton from St. Cloud State. And Overton already in off the whistle with a double leg to take an early 2-0 lead, 18-6 lead. As you can do the math, there's three bouts left, including this one, 84-97 in heavyweight. So 18 points still out there to be had. One point on the escape for Deaton. Yeah, it looks like we got a little bit of a headgear issue. Uh, looks like we've got some blood time here. Get that cleaned up. Overton, a junior college transfer, originally out of Rock Island, Illinois. Rock Island High School. Was 30 year ago at the NJCAA National Championships for Lincoln College. Under then head coach Daryl Thomas. Coach Thomas has since left Lincoln and gone on to coach at the Division I level as he's now an assistant coach at, of all places, Old Dominion. Yes, the rare Old Dominion reference, my alma mater here on a Division II broadcast. Back to action as things are cleared up. Deaton, a junior out of Valdez, Alaska. Yes, that, that Valdez. For those of you over the age of 30, you might understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, we're not talking about that type of spills. We've had some blood spilled on the map, but not so much the other kind. 2-1 lead for Overton. That was just bad. That's just... I apologize to the rest of the for that really bad pun, but Overton does not apologize for that nice double leg to extend his lead down to 4-0. Excuse me, 4-1. to See what makes him a dangerous opponent. This is one we said last time that this was about that Carney needed to have. Well, a win here will ice it for St. Cloud State. Deaton up his feet, up, out, turns, faces, one escape. So now lead cut in half, four to two. St. Cloud State finishes with Illinois, Illinois, Illinois on the top end of their lineup. See Vince Dietz and Lawrence Phillips. What is going on here? So that conked in the head. And we're going to go with, now it's not technically concussion protocol yet. This is just the observation to see if we need to go to concussion protocol. This is not injury time. So this is where the training staff evaluates whether or not Mr. Deaton needs to go fully to concussion protocol. So it's merely observational, but they do do the, the, the referee signal is kind of almost like a unicorn, if you will. It puts the uh, fist to the head and says, hey, this is this is concussion time. So they're just checking it out and says, hey, are you good? A couple things with uh, the eyes, the functions, all sorts of stuff. I'm not a medical professional nor a certified athletic trainer. Deaton takes a deep breath, says, well, I'm paraphrasing here. I think he's going to be okay. Having a good conversation other than the bloody nose. The certified athletic trainers the ATC, vital to our sport of wrestling. As the conversation continues, it will take as long as they need. And you know what? They feel they have had uh, enough time to say, Mr. Deaton, no. Actually, no, I take that back. They're going to actually take him off the mat for a moment. And there is no time limit here, so they're going to take Mr. Deaton off the mat for an evaluation. Brady Wilson 
talking with our officials. So we can go back and set the stage for you. Rebounds to go. 18 to 6. Any win here by St. Cloud State will prevent Carney from even having any chance of advancing just because of the math. Most you can get for any particular matchup is six points for the fall, a DQ, an injury default. Although a DQ, you could pick up six, but you could lose points if there's a flagrant misconduct. Now, that's nothing we normally throw in there in terms of, well, if they get disqualified, which is such a rarity uh, in, in, in wrestling, although we have seen it in terms of stalling, but stalling's not going to get you uh, disqualified with a, a match point deduction. Now, you typically see flagrant misconduct that'll be you know, one, two, or three points. I know in high school it's three. But that's the situation. 4-2 lead for Overton. And it looks like following the ugly sweater into the mat area is Mr. Deaton. Clean bill of health. So I think they, they take the athlete away just to give an opportunity to not do some of these things on the mat. Now they, they did go through the observation. Then they did go through the protocol. And they deem Mr. Deaton ready to go. Down four to two. This is not injury time, so Overton will not have choice. We will start back on our feet. Just over halfway through this first period. Here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Allen County War Memorial Coliseum, our hosts here. For the fourth year in a row for Matt Mayhem and 86 teams and a ton of mats. We got a college open going on. We got some youth tournaments going on around us. This is just true. This is mayhem. And I like that guy from that car insurance commercial line. It's the heavyweight match in the semifinal on Matt. Of course, he's also the vulture on Brooklyn 99 if you're uh, into that Missouri quite funny Valley, sitcom. 20. Quick low ankle by Deaton attacking. Getting in a funk position, looking for some neutral danger was Overton. Locked in the crotch. No. Sitting through. Deaton going to try to swim out and turn in. Still locked is Overton. Now Overton in a situation where he was going to give up neutral danger. Didn't have the opportunity as Deaton will strike and score two. And tied this bout up at four apiece. So even if Deaton didn't come out and finish that, he would have probably been in a situation to score two. And now he's got the bar arm to the left side locked up. Right in parallel, so he's going to need to jump out to his left. Right now, just trying to maintain that lock. Riding time, not a factor. Like we've got 15 remaining here in period one. He's got the arm barred. Going to try to take a big step. And grab the wrist or go half. Either way, he needs to take a big step here. Not enough time, it looks like. And it'll be 4 4. Deaton. Got his bell rung for a minute. Comes back, gets the time takedown. That'll be 4 4. Overton defers. Deaton will start the second period in the down position. The whistle beaten up to his feet. Just to peel the wrist. And Overton's just going to let Deaton freeze. And a 5 4 after the escape. Really half shot double leg for Overton. Now Deaton with the, the counter. Now with a single leg. The kick, follow, chase, cover for two. Now 7 4. Overton not quite with the firepower he had in the first period with those two big double legs. Okay. 
Trying to switch and brought back down to the mat. Flattened out. Under a minute to go here in the second. Deaton, Alaska native. Fell behind early, but now in command. Back to that bar arm. And going to try to tilt it up. Stall warning on Overton after the armbar tilt attempt by Deaton. Overton up, out. Riding time now up over a minute for Deaton, seven to five. Short time here in the second. Carney trying to stay alive and it's Championship hopes. Costanzo looks over at his wrestlers as neutral. And that's how we will begin. Overton backing and circling. Looks like he doesn't even want to engage here. He's got to be careful. He's going to get hit for stalling. He's just circled and backed away the last 15 seconds of this period. Deaton chasing a single. It doubles off. And there's the two for Deaton, extending his lead down to 9-5. Deaton trying to climb up. Cradle and up and out is Overton. So 9 6, riding time is almost assured at this point. Half double by Overton drives in. Deaton hips in. Good sprawl. Tries to post on the head. We're coming out of bounds. We'll probably see a restart here in a moment. And that's how we will go out of bounds. 9-6, 23 to go. Riding time is short, so essentially a 10-6 lead for Deaton. And single leg by Deaton. Drops to the ankle, lifts the leg. Kicks forward, short time here. Overton to the edge. Two for Deaton. 11-6 and tack on another point for riding time. Looked like he might not have been able to continue early after getting bonked in the head. He's gonna come back and score an 11-6, now 12-6. Decision to keep Carney in the bout. 18-9, two eights to go. 